Have you ever experienced this? You're watching harpists play music on YouTube and it's so beautiful, it just seems to come naturally and easily to them. And then you wonder, why is it so difficult for me? Am I just not talented enough to be a good harpist? Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn and today we're going to be looking at this question of whether we're talented enough to be a good harpist. So if you're a harpist or an aspiring harpist, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I put up new harp related videos every Thursday. So here's the thing. I think talent is overemphasized. When you see someone else play, you don't know what they've gone through to get to that point. Maybe it was an easy journey and it came naturally to them, but that's not always the case. And we can't control how much talent we have. But what we can control is how we view ourselves, how hard we work, and the expectations we place on ourselves. So what is a good harpist? There's a lot of different opinions on that and it would depend on your goals and why you wanted to play the harp in the first place. We can measure levels of skill, but playing the harp is not only about being skilled. It's about enjoying the music and sharing that with other people. So don't allow comparison to steal your joy. It's not a competition and comparing yourself to other people can be very unhelpful. I think that music that impacts people, certainly the music that impacts me, is not always from the most skilled and most perfect harpist. I don't think it's the most complicated music that makes the most impact. So it's important then for us to express what's inside ourselves, share our hearts, and that's what's most valuable and important. So do you agree with this statement? Simple music played from the heart is just as valuable as complex music played by someone else. What do you think? If you agree, then put a comment down below just saying the word heart because you agree that what comes from the heart is most important. People often talk about talent, but I think one thing that's more important than natural talent is motivation. As an illustration, let me tell you about me and my sisters. Both my sisters are really musically talented. All three of us grew up learning musical instruments, learning to sing, but I'm the only one of the three of us that ended up taking music as a career. And why the difference? I don't think the difference is that I'm more naturally talented than my sisters. I think the difference is that I'm more motivated. For some reason, I'm more driven to improve and to share my music with other people. And that is what has catapulted me to where I am today. Motivation not just talent. The very fact that you're asking this question, am I talented enough to be a good harpist, tells me that your emotions are invested and that you care and are motivated to play the harp. So I wanted to say that you mustn't allow yourself to become downhearted about the difference between where you are and where you want to be. Notice that drive, that motivation to be a good harpist and use that to move yourself forward and keep persisting. And over time, you will see improvement. Everyone feels discouraged sometimes. We all have our ups and downs. But when you're feeling down, don't allow this not talented enough mindset to set in. Don't use this as a scapegoat for your disappointment. You don't need to explain the feeling away. You're allowed to feel discouraged, but then choose to keep going. And if you're feeling extremely frustrated, I suggest you watch the video where I spoke a little bit more about frustration. I'll link it up in the cards there and you can take a look. So we've spoken a lot about being persistent and persistence is very important, but I just wanted to make a note that it's also very important to have a good strategy when you're learning something new. So for example, maybe your technique is holding you back and you need to work on that and not only on learning new pieces, or maybe your practice strategy needs a little bit of improvement. But if we pin everything on being not talented enough, then we won't see these opportunities to work on things that are in our control. So in conclusion, if you're asking yourself, am I talented enough to be a good harpist? The answer is yes. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video and you would like to encourage another harpist with today's video, then make sure you share this video. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel and that you've clicked that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos every Thursday. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.